My name is Martha Loftovic. I'm a head gardener here at the Barbican Conservatory. My main job is to maintain or supervise the Barbican Conservatory, so all the collection of the tropical and temperate plants that we have in here. Believe it or not, we have around 1,800 species. Most of them are temperate and some of them are succulents and cactuses as well. We also maintain the area surrounding the Barbican Centre, so the lakeside and both cafes in the Barbican itself. My typical day starts at 4.30 in the morning because I travel from outside London. By the time I get here, it's 6.20, I get my breakfast, get ready for work, answer all the emails, plan the day ahead. Usually start from uh, watering the conservatory, so it takes two of us, around two and a half hours, so around 10 o'clock to water the conservatory itself. And then depending what we have to do, is either maintaining, so pruning, cutting, potting on, uh, replanting, adding new plants, uh, maybe deadheading, lots of those, all those gardening jobs that you can imagine we do in here. What is the best part uh, of working in the Barbican Conservatory? It's definitely being able to do what I like. I always wanted to be a gardener and here I am. But it's also ability to inspire people. And the children, when they come in here, they say, Mummy, it's like a tropical jungle in here. They absolutely love it and they have a smile on their face. For a lot of people that work or live in London, they come from all sorts of different countries. They come to me and say like, yes, we have this plant growing somewhere in South Africa or Australia or Nigeria or even Italy. And that brings the warm memories of home for them, which is also quite nice and quite inspiring for me. What makes Barbican Conservatory so unique? It's just the sheer scale of it. It's one of the largest ones in London and maybe because it's located on the third floor above the normal street in between the housing and in the art centre itself. So it's a unique space. For me as well, it's almost an apocalyptic thing. Plants took over the cities and started to grow in the middle of a concrete jungle. You've got that tropical lush jungle of green plants. It's almost like a nature within big city.